Stalkers, it's Shroomed1 slash SH1 coming to you uh, with a way to replace your shitty recorded drums. Um, <laughs> okay, so see, sometimes when you're recording drums and you're starting out and shit, you, <laughs> you set up a couple of mics and just record and like everything's going great you're getting signal in the door and and you're you're happy you're happy that that this situation turned out great that you actually are receiving sound in the door and, and stuff and like you might make the compromise that your drums sound a bit shit and you you think oh i'll fix it in the mix so what happens then is you end up with crappily recorded drums now, I've loaded up some drums where I think that is the case, all right? And, yeah, I mean, the signals technically are totally usable, but it's a technique that I find very useful, even, even when the, the, the signals are completely usable. So, I've got these drums here, recorded by a mate of mine who only set up a snare top mic and one room mic, which is a big no-no for me. I always do stereo rooms. Um, but yeah. So we could use that kick drum. We solo it. Doesn't sound really, doesn't sound that nice, to be honest. But it's a clean signal, and that helps us a lot, right? So, what am I going to do? Um, now, uh, a trigger track is something that allows you to replace, basically replace the entire drum, the, the entire close mic drum with another, with, with a sample or with a... Um, or, or layer something or trigger trigger a gate with that or shit like that, right? And that's very helpful. That's very, very helpful. And it comes it comes into play mostly for kick drums because um yeah, it's easy to do with kick drums. So uh what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my kick audio and drop it in a slice X that I've set up over here. Now, <laughs> there is going to be a smart ass in the comments saying, "Oh, Mr. Shroom boy, you can do this. You can do this with Edison. Have you ever tried it with Edison?" You cannot do this with Edison. <laughs> <laughs> because the auto slicing works in Edison. It's the dump to score log thingy, that dump score log to piano roll that is not going to work. So yeah, it's now playing the audio. I am going to auto slice, medium auto slicing, and just zoom in a bit. Look, uh, make sure it hit the right transients and everything. And that is great. So, because SliceX uh, is set up to auto dump this information to the piano roll, I can now, regardless of what BPM I've set up here, regardless of this was played in with a click or, or not, I can now take out my brush tool by pressing B and hold shift and just paint the existing notes, the existing rhythm onto one note. Cool. Which I can then use to trigger an instance of kick two, maybe. Right? Let's just move this up to... Mr. C5 over here. And then I can just look at my MIDI in relation to the kick drum and see that the notes actually match up with the kick transients. So if I now play the drums with the, with the kick muted and my, uh, and my personal kick loaded up, um, maybe I should delete this one though. Yeah. 
but now play this. There's going to be a synth kick in there on the bottom. Now this versus the recorded one. I don't know. You choose. <laughs> I mean, this gets me. This gets me a lot more attack. And even if I were to use that um, that uh, uh, kick recording, uh, I could still use this MIDI to do interesting stuff to it. Yeah, I hope uh, I hope that's been helpful to you guys. I hope um, because this is I think this is the first time somebody talked about a method like this, uh, a trigger track, making a trigger track in FL Studio actually, or a, a, like a, from a real recording at least. So yeah, um, this is this is the uh, well I found this is the only viable method of doing that in FL. <laughs> if you know of a better met method, um, go ahead, tell me in the comments. Also, 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 check out the stream. If you want to see me doing stuff like this live and shit, um, check out check out the stream. Twitch TV slash Shroomhead underscore one. I try and stream as much as I can. Um, haven't got time much. Like, I haven't got much time these days because of exams and shit. But, but, I will get back to it. And I will shave my beard when my exams are done. So look forward to that. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Cheers for tuning in. Goodbye.